Well, good morning and welcome to our Godly Place story for the fourth Sunday of Advent. Now is the time for the color blue, rich royal blue. A king was coming, but not like any king that you or I or even they would have known. This king had no great house or great armies or great riches. This king was a baby born in a barn. That king who came is still coming. Now that's a mystery. And sometimes it's hard to see or to understand the mystery. We need to get ready to come close to mysteries. Get ready to come close to the mystery of Christmas. But sometimes this time of year we're just so busy, distracted, thinking of other things that we don't get ready and we miss out or forget the mystery that is Christmas. So the church set aside four weeks, four Sundays, to get ready to come close to the mystery of Christmas. This is the season of Advent. Now on the first Sunday of Advent, we remembered the prophets. Prophets were people who came so close to God and God came so close to them that they knew what was important. It was as if they were pointing the way. And back then, they were pointing to Bethlehem. They knew something important was going to happen there. They didn't know what, but they knew it was important. They pointed the way. On the second Sunday of Advent, we remembered the Holy Family. The Holy Family who journeyed down the road to Bethlehem to be counted by the Roman soldiers. This is the mother, Mary. This is the father, Joseph. This is the donkey. Mary was about to have a baby, and I've been told that when you're about to have a baby, it's sometimes difficult to walk. So Mary would ride on the donkey. I've also been told that when you're having a baby, it's sometimes difficult to ride on a donkey. So Mary would walk. She would ride, she would walk. All the way down that long road. They were just about the last people to get to Bethlehem that night. On the third Sunday of Advent, we remembered the shepherds. There were many shepherds, but we will have one. There were lots and lots of sheep. We'll have these two. The shepherds were standing in the field outside of Bethlehem, trying to stay awake in order to protect their sheep from the wolves. When suddenly there was a great light in the sky, so bright it, it hurt their eyes, and it scared them so much their hearts were beating. And then there was singing 
which scared them even more until they heard the words, don't be afraid. I bring you news of great joy, peace on earth, goodwill to all people. Quick, run, go to Bethlehem. The baby that was born there will change everything. Now on the fourth Sunday of Advent, we remember the wise ones, the kings, the magi. Now magi were wise people from the east. They were so wise that people thought they were magic. And that is where we get our word magic from, from the magi. Now, they knew a lot about a lot of things. But what they knew about the most was the sky. They knew where every star in the sky was supposed to be and when it was supposed to be there. So that they could tell people when the right time was to plant the crops or to take a voyage across the sea or to go through the high passes of the mountains when the snow was not too deep. And then they saw the wild star, the star that was not in any of their star maps, the star that went wherever it would. And so they followed that star to see where it would take them and what it would show them when they were there. It was a long journey. And so they were late. They arrived after the baby was born. They're late every year. which is why we celebrate the Magi on January the 6th. But we also remember them today because like us, and like the others, they too were on the road to Bethlehem. This is the light of the prophets. This is the light of the Holy Family, of the Mother Mary, the Father Joseph, and their companion, the donkey. This is the light of the shepherds. Remember, it's a different color because even in the serious season of getting ready, we remember that the message of the angels was one of joy. And pink is a joyful color. And here is the light of the Magi.
the light of the star that they followed. All of this light. But all of it in just one place at one time. We want the light to be in this place today because the light of the prophets, the light of the Holy Family, the light of the shepherds and the angels and the sheep, and the light of the Magi, that light is for every place in every time, for this place today. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change the light. Not extinguish it, not blow it out, but change it. We too can be prophets today. So we change the light of the prophets. To fill our space. Our lives. We too are on the road to Bethlehem with the Holy Family. If we listen carefully, we too can hear messages of joy, messages from God. We change the light of the shepherd. And like the Magi, we were on a journey. A journey that brings us to the one who changed everything. Well, thank you for joining me and have a blessed fourth Sunday of Advent.